it's Louise from Mind Body Calm Yoga. Today's practice is actually a request from one of my subscribers who said that they really enjoyed yoga poses with some balancing in them. So today this routine will have some balancing poses that really helps you calm your mind because when you're balancing um, it's very difficult to think about anything else other than the task in hand. So they really are calming. Um, so Shelley and family, this one's for you. I hope you enjoy it and I'll meet you on your mat in cross leg position. So we'll just start our practice settling the body down. So make sure the spine's nice and tall. We've got a nice comfortable seated position. Shoulders are soft, eyes are soft. Close your eyes if you prefer. And we'll just soften the forehead, soften the cheek, soften the eyes. Take some nice, slow, deep breaths. Let the shoulders drop. Relax the hips and the belly. And really feel that connection of your sitting bones on the earth. And just allow the earth to support you. Bringing our nervous system into balance as we prepare ourselves for our yoga practice. And we'll slowly draw ourselves down onto our backs with our knees bent. So knees are hip width apart. Lower back's nice and flat, bring the hands onto the mat. Make sure the shoulders are soft, chin is slightly tucked. And we're going to take some pelvic tilts here. So just rocking the pelvis forward. And as we rock the pelvis forward, you'll notice there's a little bit of an arch in the lower back. And then allowing the pelvis to tip back and the lower back to flatten again. We'll do two more of those pelvic tilts. time as we breathe in we'll stretch one foot up to the sky and then the other and we're just going to give our feet a little bit of a shake give the legs a shake scrunch the toes and then widen the toes and scrunch and stretch scrunch the toes and stretch point the toes draw the toes back and point and draw them back and circle the ankles in one direction and then the other way okay so let's reach up a little bit higher with our heels draw the toes back we should start to feel the stretch now into the back of the legs stay here and breathe make sure the belly's soft shoulders are soft And this time, reaching the toes up to the sky and really reach the toes up. Feel the stretch on the front of the legs. Okay, and release. Give our legs another shake. And we'll just open the hips a little bit before we start our main practice. So bring the hands behind the knees. Start to draw the knees down towards the shoulders. Draw the toes back. So what we're looking for, the heels to be in line with the knees. Nice wide knees. And just keep working on drawing the knees down and relaxing the lower back. If you want to take it a little bit farther, you can if you want to take it a little bit further, you can reach up to the outside edges of the feet, push down. And again, work on releasing the lower back. This is happy baby pose. And if it feels okay, we can start to rock gently from side to side. Just easing through the lower back. And back to centre. 
centre, bring the hands behind the knees, draw the knees together, bring the feet down onto the mat. And we'll just windscreen wipe the knees side to side. Giving the lower back a nice little massage, a nice little twist. Okay, so bring our hands behind our knees and we're going to rock it up. Nice and steady and bring ourselves up to standing. Okay, so standing nice and tall in mountain pose. So in mountain pose, our feet are hip width apart, really pressing into our feet, squeezing the leg muscles, lifting the tummy muscles, Lifting the chest up, shoulders roll back and down, hands nice and loose, arms loosely by the side. And we're going to circle the arms, clasp the hands together and form a steeple with the index finger. So reach, index fingers, so reach up, really stretch up. And as we breathe out, we're going to bend over to the left. So we need to be careful as we bend that we don't tip the body forward or arch back. So imagine that you're in between two panes of glass and you can't bend forward and you can't bend back. So exhale, let's bend to the sides. It's feeling a lovely stretch all the way down through the side of the body. And as we breathe in, breathe into the side of the ribs. So we're creating space all the way down the side of the body a little deeper if we can, press firmly into the feet as we come back up nice and steady and we'll work on the other side. And back to centre. Okay, so keeping the arms where they are, let's walk the feet together, bring the heels together and either staying here or to test our balance, start to come up onto the balls of our feet. So lifting it up. Gazing off into the distance, focusing your gaze on something. Or you can gaze down the nose if that helps with balance. Keep lifting through the tummy, so we're stretching all the way through the body, right from the tips of the toes to the tips of the fingers. Full body stretch and a balance. Whole body's engaged here. One more breath in. Lift a little higher if you can. And exhale, come all the way down, well done. Circle the arms. And we step out of our owl pose. So the next pose that we're going to try, arrow pose sort of prepared us for it, is tree pose. So tree pose, rather than balancing on the balls of our feet, we're balancing on one leg. So let's start again in mountain pose. So firming the legs, lifting nice and tall. And let's transfer our weight over to our right leg. So we slightly swing over to the right and we can lift the left foot off the floor and we're just going to place that foot on top of the other foot. So if you feel a little bit wobbly, you can keep popping your big toe down to help you balance. Or if you want, you can come to a wall and use a wall, just fingertip on the wall, just to keep you steady. Okay, so knee tips out to the side, so we've got a nice opening through the front of the hips. Again, gazing off into the distance, soft, steady gaze. And really firm up that right leg so it's nice and strong, holding us upright. Okay, let's practice that on the other side. So swing over to the left, lifting your right foot. Just put on top of foot for, the, for now. So really keep that lift in the torso. And release the leg to the floor. Okay, so let's try that again, but this time, see if we can take it up a little bit higher. So let's challenge ourselves. 
So mountain pose to start, weight onto the right leg, and this time, either bringing the foot to the inside of the calf, or maybe grabbing the foot, bringing it into the inside of the thigh. Find stillness. Keep the tummy muscles lifted. See if we can relax the shoulders. Gazing forward, bring the hands to prayer. Keep the breath slow and smooth. When we're ready, let's lift our hands up to the sky. Keep the hands in prayer. And exhale, widen the arms, widen the fingers. Full balloon tree. Keep the breath steady. And we'll do that in reverse. Hands to prayer. Back to heart centre. And slowly release the foot. And you might want to give that leg a shake. <laughs> well done. Okay, let's practice on the other side. And that's what yoga is, it's practice. There's no perfect pose. It's all about practicing. Some days you might jump straight into a tree. Other days it may not be happening at all. I recently had a yoga class and there was no, I just couldn't balance on one leg at all. And I think sometimes that, that was telling me that there was something going on in my mind that was really busy and keeping me off balance. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it first time. Practice is the key. So let's go on the other side. So stretching that left leg into the floor. Imagine that left foot's got roots. They're going right into the earth. You're steady. Bringing the foot wherever you want it to be. Okay, so getting that nice strong foundation. Hands to prayer. Raising the hands to the sky. Full bloom tree. Hands to prayer. And carefully bringing the foot down and maybe giving that leg a shake. Fabulous, well done. So let's work our way to the top of our mat. And just to ease everything off, we're going to take a nice restful forward fold, ragdoll pose. So ragdoll pose, we'll just bend our knees, bring our hands on top of the thighs, and we'll start to bring the body weight down. So we'll let the arms be completely loose, just let them swing. Keep coming down further and further, so the belly's on top of the thighs, bend the knees as much as you need to. And then slowly release the head down, Give the head a little shake, give it a nod, release any tension if you're still holding on in the neck. Then we want to sway side to side here, maybe holding up the elbows and swaying from side to side. We're not trying to straighten the legs here, it's more about releasing tension in the back and the shoulders and the neck. Okay, so let's bend the knees even deeper, bring the hands down either side of the feet and step back with one leg and then the other into plank. Okay, so let's roll the shoulders away from the ears, firm up the tummy muscles, firm up the thighs, reach out through the heels, nice long spine. So be careful we don't hammock down, make sure we're lifted and we don't want to be up here either, so nice straight spine, nice and strong, and release, bring the knees down, widen the knees, and we'll push back into child's pose, so bring the bottom down onto the heel, stretch forward with the hands, release the head down. Lovely stretch in the lower back, stretching the upper body. And 
Okay, so bring the hands by the side of the knees. We'll roll it up nice and slowly. And bring ourselves into tabletop position. Okay, so wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. So another balancing pose now, working on balancing table. And we might take it up a little bit further into a bind. Okay, well, not might, we will be. <laughs> Only if you want to try it, okay, I'll, I will be. Maybe you can watch or just do it at your own level. So roll the shoulders away from the ears. Okay, let's step back with the left leg. So reaching out with the left leg, toes on the floor, and then reach out through the right arm. Okay, so we're reaching out, but the shoulder is back. So we're not reaching forward, so shoulders back, reaching out with the hand, and then, if you want to try a little bit more balance, lift the left leg. So toes come towards the floor, heel comes out towards the back wall. So stretching through the back of the leg, legs nice and long. You want to try a little bit more, bend the left knee, reach around with the right hand, take a hold of the ankle, bring the knee back up in line with the hip, and we'll start to open through the chest, start to rotate, looking up towards the sky. And then to release, come back to tabletop. Okay, how did you do? Swing the hips from side to side. If you need a little bit of a break for the wrists, just rotate the wrists around and come back to tabletop. Okay, so it's quite a balance that one. Let's try on the other side. Okay, so step back with the right leg. Reach out through the left arm, keep the left shoulder back. Lift the leg maybe. Bend the knee around and release nice and slowly and again sway the hips from side to side bring the knees together sit back onto your heels and here we'll pause. And bring ourselves onto our bottom. So our final balancing pose. Balancing on our sitting bones in boat pose. So pull the fleshy bits out of the way so you've got a nice comfortable seat. So we're really sat on our sitting bones and lift ourselves up nice and tall. So roll the shoulders away. Lifting ourselves up, bring the hands behind the knees and all we're going to do is, is bring the toes onto the floor, come on our tiptoes and then sway back and as we sway back we can lift the toes off the floor. If this is too much you can stay here with the tiptoes remaining on the floor or we'll bring it here. And as you breathe in, let's just raise the torso a little bit higher, draw the knees in towards the chest. And when you're ready, release the hands. So this is half boat. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, straighten the legs. Keep lifting the chest up. And to release, hands behind the knees, slide yourself down and bring yourself down onto your back, knees into the chest, a little bit of a rock from side to side. And rolling over. Bring yourself up to sitting, any comfy seat. Let's 
straight for you. Bring the left hand onto the belly, right hand onto the heart. Close your eyes. Just checking with our body again. Noticing how your body feels. Noticing where the energy is flowing in the body. deep abdominal breaths, slowing down the heart rate, bringing everything back into balance. And when you're ready, fluttering open the eyes, hands to prayer. Namaste.